Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the leaf spring using modal analysis. We will check out what are the various natural frequencies of the leaf spring such that that natural frequency should not be tapped or else there will be resonance occurring in the system if that natural frequency gets tapped by any other vibrating part of the say truck in which the leaf spring is attached or it could be the natural frequency of the pump over which the entire chassis is going to move over. So we need to keep this value as a known factor and we should also know which value should not be tapped. So we will start by double clicking on modal analysis. We will first go to engineering data. I will keep the default material of ANSYS as structural steel. You can choose any other steel that you want and you can add the material and enter its data. I am using structural steel as a material for the spring. So I will go to project. Next I will go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of the leaf spring. I will give you the link of the design such that you can download and use it for the analysis. Next I will go to model and double click on it. If you go to this plus sign beside geometry and click here, you will see that the material assigned is structural steel. Since I have not created any other material for the leaf spring, I have chosen the default material. So I don't have to allocate any material at this stage. In case you create a new material for yourself, you need to allocate the material over here. Next, I will go to mesh and I will change the sizing from coarse to fine. In case you are using a new version of the software, wherein you can't change this relevant center to fine, you can give the element size in that case. And say you choose a element size of 0.02 mm or 0.01 mm, whatever it is, and you can just update the mesh the way I am doing. Next, I'll go to model, right click, and insert fix support. Here, I'll insert fix support. on both these ends and apply. In modal analysis, the only boundary condition required is that of fixed support. You don't have to give any loading. So next I'll go to solution and right click and I'll solve first. Once these lines are created in the graph, I'll come here, right click select all again right click create mode shape results you can see here six deformations have been created the reason being in analysis setting you can see maximum modes to find is six by default in ansys i leave it to number six itself if you want you can increase or decrease this number by clicking here that's how you can decrease or you can increase to whatever number you want i'll leave it to the default number six now I'll go to solution and solve. So you can see for the first deformation, the value of frequency in this table is 258.35 Hz. Here you can see that the maximum deformation is 21.27 mm. So at this high frequency, you will have this much amount of displacement. You can click on animation and you can see the pattern of its motion at this frequency. If you want to know where the value of displacement is max and min, you can click on this max min button. You will be shown the maximum and the minimum deformation. Next, I'll go to the deformation 2. The value of frequency at this stage is 272.5 hertz and the maximum displacement here is reduced a bit it is 18.972 mm. 
mm you can see the pattern of its motion at this modal frequency next we'll go to total deformation 3 here the value of frequency is 671.46 hertz you can see it is quite a big difference between the mode 2 and mode 3 and the displacement here is 23.91 mm approximately 24 mm this is the maximum value in this middle section and it is fixed here so these two ends will be zero you can animate and check this result as well next we will go to total deformation 4 here i can see the frequency is 893.8 hertz and the total deformation will be 22.29 mm that to the highest value minimum is always zero you can animate and check this result as well this is the pattern of its motion next deformation 5 the highest value will be 23.365 mm and the value of frequency will be 111 3.9 hertz you can see here also the value of frequency is given and also in the table you can see the mode number and the frequency value let's animate and see next we will go for total deformation 6 you can animate and see the result the value of maximum deformation is 29.009 mm you can see that this is the highest amongst all the deformations and also the value of frequency is highest that is 1303.2 hertz this value of frequency is quite high which means this body will have to attend this natural frequency by the effect of some other vibrating body or mechanism around which will instigate this amount of natural frequency and when both of them match each other there will be resonance in the system which could be quite catastrophic so we need to make sure that this natural frequency is not excited because of any other vibrating body in the same mechanism so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the model analysis of leaf spring if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.